Okay, so in this video, guys, we are going to be talking about creating mood and tone in your writing. And this is really hard to do. It's probably one of the hardest things on the rubric to put into your writing. So what's tone and mood? Tone is the author's attitude towards a topic. So oftentimes when an author writes, you can feel what their attitude is. And mood is the atmosphere of the piece, the emotion behind the piece. So as you're reading something, how do you feel? Um, whenever you read a piece, the author always makes you feel a certain way, and the author oftentimes shares their attitudes about the topic with you. This all comes out through tone and mood. Okay, so how would you do this? Um, I think the easier of the two is probably to create tone, and this is basically done by word choice. The words you choose to use um, create tone in the piece. So how you say something shows your attitude and your tone. So you can say the same thing in a lot of different ways, and it could change the way the reader gets your impression of, of the topic. So here's a couple of quick examples about tone and how the word choice affects the tone. It was no surprise that the Supreme Court sided with the school in TLO versus New Jersey. If school principals had to get search warrants before searching a locker for drugs and weapons, schools would become a madhouse. And you can see the wording, no surprise. The author is very supportive in this piece. The author's saying that yes, uh, schools should be able to search without a warrant. And that comes across in that statement. So this is a supportive tone and the sections in yellow, I could have used different words here when I wrote this and it would have changed the tone to something different. Mm -hmm. The author is making you think that yes, definitely, we should side with the schools in this case. So here's the same topic, different tone. The shocking outcome of TLO versus New Jersey rips away Fourth Amendment rights from students. Reasonable suspicion, as the Supreme Court calls it, is a ridiculous premise that make, masks the fact that students really have no rights in school. Totally different tone. A little bit sarcastic, a little bit angry. It makes you feel that, oh wow, kids shouldn't be searched just on reasonable suspicion. Probable cause should be necessary even in schools. This is um, very different tone, same topic, but look at how the tone is different. So shocking, rips, ridiculous, those word choices versus no surprise in school would become a madhouse. Choosing what you say and how you say it shows the tone. Um, I, uh, I just wanted to show you guys real quick too. Um, for a complete list of tone words, you can visit this URL. If you type this URL, just pause the video now, type this URL into your search bar, there's a whole huge list of different words that show tone. Um, that you can use to help you um, when you're when you're doing your writing. Okay, so now let's talk about the the more challenging of the two, which why is tone mood. is important <laughs> or why mood is important. So you, you want the reader to feel something, either a positive or negative. the The mood of a piece can completely change how the reader feels about a topic. So I'm going to show you some fake movie trailers as an example, which is kind of fun. So this first movie trailer you're going to watch is somebody that took video clips from Mary Poppins. Uh, the kids movie which is a very happy friendly, lucky, movie. friendly movie and they changed just the way the images were displayed to change the mood even though the same exact movie same exact clips from the movie but by the type of atmosphere they created made you think it was a horror film instead of a happy, happy or lucky film so check out how the mood changed in this particular trailer <laughs> Okay, that had me really scared. And Mary Poppins is a funny, funny movie. It's got a lot of humor in it. And here this author was able to make me feel scared of something that I know is really funny. So this is a movie. So in movies they use music and things like that. But in your writing you would use different words to, to create the mood. 
Um, there's one more example I can show you. This is um, a scary movie. This is from my childhood. I don't know if you've watched the movie before. It's called The Shining, um, and it's uh, uh, based on Stephen King's book. Um, so it's, it's a very famous horror movie. Very famous horror movie. Very scary. I remember being scared out of my pants as a kid watching this movie. So they, um, they changed the mood of this movie to a happy, feel-good film. Like okay. Meet Jack Torrance. I'm outlining a new writing project. He's a writer looking for inspiration. Lots of ideas. No good ones. Meet Danny. He's a kid looking for a dad. There's hardly anybody to play with around here. Dad. What's up, Doc? Jack just can't finish his book. I don't want to sound melodramatic, but it, there's no way to make it economically feasible. Here's to five miserable months. But now, sometimes, what we need the most is just around the corner. <laughs> is, this is really on. supposed to be a scary movie. I do anything. So that's just another example. It's kind of silly, but it's an example of how the music, the way they display the images, changes the mood to happy versus scary. You can do the same thing in your writing. You just have to, you don't have music. You have to use words. the words, the way you display the information. Um, so just to wrap things up a little bit, I thought that using the movie clips is the best example about how mm -hmm. you can make a mood um, without, with just changing the feel of it, without using, with using the same skeleton of the, of the piece. So, to wrap things up, mood and tone are created by word choice. Choosing loaded words will show your attitude and create some emotion in your writing. And again, for a complete list of tone and mood words that you can use, visit this URL right here, type it in exactly as it's displayed, and you will find a gigantic list of mood and tone words that you can use to help try to start to create these things in your, in your writing. All right. We're glad you had a chance to watch this video. Good luck.